Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we are going to uh, learn how to create a customer call log form. So uh, let's uh, move to Excel window first and then uh, see the example which I have already created. And thereafter, we will create that form from scratch. So here you can see that uh, this is the customer log call log form. Suppose you are uh, taking a call and you just need to enter some information like customer need uh, ID, customer name, country, product, and call somebody. Then uh, and once you uh, click on submit button. So uh, the main advantage of this form is like on the basis of country selection, you uh, you will submit the data to that specific uh, country sheet. Like you can see that uh, in this country drop down, we have India, China, United Kingdom. Germany, Japan and France. So in the same way uh, we have already created like India, China, United Kingdom, Germany, Japan and France. So these six different countries are over there right and all these six countries are available in this drop down. So whenever any of the user while taking a call will select any of the country like suppose it, user will select the country as India and fill all the details and submit the data. So it means this particular data is associated with this particular country that is India. So entire data that is associated with a specific country that will go to uh, that will go to a uh, that a specific worksheet like India. So when, once you will select the country and submit the data, data will get transferred to India. Once you select the country as China, then data will get transferred to China and so on. Right. So let's. Uh, see the example so I am going to enter 213 is customer ID and customer name Mr. Kumar let's select the ID as uh, no sorry country as India and product I have uh, added some fictitious product like 1 2 3 4 5 so let's select one and customer problem like the call summary is uh, there is is some Okay, so we have uh, entered some information and that information is related with India. So let's uh, select a uh, click on submit. So before uh, clicking on submit, let's move to uh, that specific that in you know, here India. You can see that there is no data here, right? So let's move to a form, click on submit. And once you submit, it will uh, confirm the okay, data has been submitted. Let's move to India country, uh, India specific worksheet. And you can see that there is one entry made by user that is associated with uh, the India and that's why it is uh, reflecting over here. Let's move to form and again enter suppose 234 and this specific uh, like customer ID like Mr. Uh, Singh and assuming this uh, this particular is associated with the country China. So let's select China and the product is product number three and this is from China right. And let, let's click on submit data submitted now let's go to India you can see that there is only one entry let's move to China now you can see that there is one entry of level for China so let's uh, uh, again make an entry for you know uh, 2234 again this is Mr. Thing. now this time this is associated with the Germany so let's select product as product 5 and this is from Germany right click on submit now you can see that it has been submitted let's move to Germany and you can see that this specific record has been transferred to Germany worksheet so in this way you can dynamically transfer your data to a specific you know uh, a specific worksheet and this is the example right so you can apply this type of techniques in your uh, you know other uh, like uh, creating a data entry form uh, for other purpose right and uh, this will be very very useful because see data is segregating uh, basis on the selection user selection here we have uh, uh, applied the condition to move the data basis on the country selection you can use any of like maybe product maybe features or anything right so in this in the same way you can create a uh, data entry form and uh, that will be totally dynamic and basis on some uh, like and data will get transfers on uh, transfer from work form to uh, a worksheet basis on some criteria okay 
so uh, let's start developing this form from scratch so before doing that let's close this uh, save this form and press ctrl w okay now uh, create a new uh, worksheet so press ctrl n and now you can see that a uh, totally blank wor uh, workbook is available press ctrl s to save this workbook and give the designated path okay now give the uh, name as customer call log form okay maybe version uh, 1.0 you can uh, to segregate the previous form and the new form make sure uh, uh, you should select the uh, macro enable file otherwise it will not work so you know here you can see that i have selected xlsm as an extension right so now we need to create a form so let's create a form and then we will add a different worksheet like six to different worksheet uh, for a country name so first of all let's create a form so to create a form just double click on home tab to expand the ribbon and just go to view and hide the grid lines so you can see that are now grid lines have been disappeared now now we need to create a uh, create the header section for call customer call log form so let's select three two two n three okay c two two n three just go to home and merge and center okay and uh, apply the fill color as this one blue and uh, write uh, the like give the header as customer call log form okay now select this uh, uh, range and change the font as uh, let's cambria select cambria okay and size should be uh, maybe 26 or 28 26 is good enough and the font color should be white okay and apply the the below uh, no, border this text in border section just click on this one bottom border okay so now it's done uh, let's uh, give the date range over here so date let's write date and go to cell formatting and this one again border okay leave the key column here just make it a little bit shorter and now just select this range from here to here and go to a uh, home tab and then merge and center and then again middle line right and go to again home tab in cell formatting select the node right and enter the formula as today okay that's it now we need to create the field uh, so let's uh, select a d7 to f7 right so this is uh, d7 to f7 in home tab like uh, click on merge and center and then go to cell formatting cell style and input right and again cell style and give us header heading 2 now enter the heading as the first field is customer customer id right select the uh, font color as black now leave the this column g, g column and select the h to m and merge and center again okay and now go to a style and select the style as note now check the font now you can see that this is 13 let's un make it unbold and again increase the size as 13 okay so we have created the first uh, uh, label and the entry that is associated with customer id so make the width of g column a little bit shorter okay now select this this range copy this and paste for customer name 
then country then product and this is for product summary right not product summary it's for call summary right let's change the header or uh, the label so this is for customer name and this is for country this is for product name and this is for call summary okay so call summary uh, should be a uh, multi-line text so let's uh, select the h15 to m15 so we have already selected h uh, no, 15 to uh, m15 so we need to select uh, h15 to maybe you can say that h15 to m19 or m18 right margin center okay and wrap text go to cell style and select the note okay let's create the drop down for country so select the country like this one h11 and go to data and the click on uh, data validation under data tools okay and in data validation window and allow section just uh, select the list and enter the name country name over here so let's uh, india then china then united kingdom united kingdom then germany then japan and then france click on ok so now you can see that the drop down list has been created for country let's drop create the drop down list for product name as well so select the ring h13 and go to data again and in data tools section just select click on data validation in data validation window or uh, select the allow like as list and as a source just give the static value that is product one comma product two comma product three comma product four product five okay let's click on ok so now you can see that we have also created uh, the product list here okay now we need to uh, create two different uh, command button over here one for submit and one is for reset so let's go to insert tab and then here shape like the rounded rectangle okay let's click over here make it a little bit shorter like this one okay change the style shape style so select the this one blue intense effect blue accent 5 I right click on this button edit text and write submit okay now select the select this button go to home tab and then click on center and middle and make it a little bit font size 12 or maybe 13 right it's, it's looking good right now let's copy this button press select this button and press ctrl c and then press ctrl v okay now go to format and change the this to intense effect orange accent 2 now double click on this and change the label as re s e t reset okay let's move this submit button over here and reset over here okay so now we created the submit button as as well as reset button now we need to apply the border so let's select this okay and press ctrl 1 go to border section and the color should be purple and this one select this line and outline click on ok so now you can see that we have created uh, the form 
let's change the form name from sheet one to form okay now we need to add six uh, different worksheet over here for each and every country so let's click on add one two three four five six okay select all the sheet two select the sheet two from sheet, uh, like select sheet one sheet three sheet four five six and seven while pressing you know shift key and go to view tab and grid line okay now start uh, giving the header so the header should be first column should be serial number and second column should be customer id okay and the third one is customer name and then country product call summary submitted by submitted on okay so let's select all these columns and make it a little bit wider okay it's look good so select all these columns again go to home and make it center and middle line right select this column header and give a uh, color over here like back color so maybe a uh, blue dark blue and font side should be white okay select this uh, a1 to h1 and again select couple of rows maybe a uh, field 20 and apply the border as all border okay so now we can see that we have created a uh, the sheet 2 sheet 3 sheet 4 5 6 7 right so let's start changing the name the first should be india and then china and then united kingdom then germany Japan France okay so let's uh, change the column header so that you can easily identify while uh, moving uh, from one sheet to worksheet okay so let's change the back color to maybe this color right for India China let's select the red United Kingdom let's uh, select maybe a uh, purple Germany let's keep uh, the blue color for Germany Japan maybe you can give the color edge for Japan as green and France black so now we have successfully uh, created uh, all those like all the different worksheets for India, China, United Kingdom, Germany, Japan, and France, and we have already created the form. So now we need to move to uh, Visual Basic uh, window and start coding, right? So let's uh, click on uh, Developer tab and then click on Visual Basic. Here in Visual Basic for application, just click on Insert menu and click on Module. Just give the module name as MDL or data transfer okay now let's start uh, the coding so first of all uh, we should start coding with the reset button so let's start uh, so sub reset underscore form okay create some room over here and make it align let's declare a variable dim i i message as vv message box result right and i in wsm message is equal to message box do you want to reset this form right and the uh, button should be vv yes and no 
plus uh, icon should be vv question okay title should be reset reset confirmation okay if i message is equal to vv no then exit sub it means whenever user will select yes then it will move forward otherwise it will uh, get terminated to, uh, terminated it means uh, you know uh, this particular sub procedure will uh, not uh, process any of the instruction further now this out sheets and the sheet name is form because we are going to clear the data of form and the range should be uh, h7 comma h9 comma h11 comma h13 and h15 that's it. dot value is equal to blank so now it's done so uh, with the help of this uh, this procedure we will be able to uh, clear all the data uh, which are available in the form like this form okay so this is h7 h9 h11 h13 and h15 okay and we will assign the uh, reset form uh, sub procedure on this uh, reset button later on right so let's move to visual basic again and let's start doing the coding for submit data right so submit yes, sub submit underscore details so first of all we need to declare worksheet variables so let's declare deem sh country as worksheet right and the second is deem sh form as worksheet one variable is to uh, hold the current row so deem i current row as integer okay and one is to hold uh, the variable for country name to so deem s c o u n t country name as string okay let's create some room so that you can easily uh, see the coding now we need to, uh, we need to uh, set the form uh, so let's set message form is equal to this workbook dot sheets form okay and now we need to identify the selection like uh, the selection of country name uh, from the cell h11 uh, h11 uh, for country right so let's uh, and we will hold uh, that country name under in this particular variable that is called s country name so let's s country name is equal to sh form sh form dot sorry form dot range and h11 dot value okay now we need to uh, set the uh, sh country worksheet so that's set sh country is equal to this workbook dot worksheet and we need to give the name as uh, the name of the worksheet so the name of the worksheet should be ss s country name because we are moving the data basis on the selection so suppose user will select the uh, country as india so our the target uh, worksheet will be india right suppose uh, and user will select the china and other country then our uh, target uh, worksheet will be china and other country as well right so let's copy this name as its as country name and give the input parameter for this workbook dot sheet okay so it will work dynamically it is based on the user selection on the form so make sure uh, while transferring your data you should uh, give the correct name otherwise it will not transfer and it will give the error let's identify the current row so i current row is equal to sh sh country dot range a 
application dot rows dot count right and then end excel up plus one so it will give the next a uh, blank row number over here right and we will uh, an i current row uh, will hold that uh, row number now let's start uh, doing the coding to transfer the data so let so with sh country and with okay so dot the cell and the first the row number is i current row and the column number is 1 so first cell is let's move to uh, any of the worksheet over here in data let's select the india so first is serial number and then customer id customer name country product call summary and so on right so let's move to visual basic and so first is uh, serial number so i current row minus 1 okay and then again self current row and the column should be 2 is equal to sh form so sh form dot range h7 is our customer id okay so let's copy this code uh, this particular line of code this customer id customer name country product and summary call summary okay so let's change the reference the column number is this column number is three and the customer name is available in h9 column number four and the country is available in, uh, available in 11 column number five and product is available in 13 column number six and the call summary is available in 15 h15 let's copy this range one two more time one is for submitted by and the second one is submitted on okay let's replace this uh this should be seven and the value should be application dot user username and this is eight column number eight and that should be didn't time so let's start format and the time should be now we will utilize like uh, now function over here and then the format is mm oh, sorry dd mmm yyyy space hh mm ss okay so this is done now we are uh, with the help of this code we can transfer the data now we need to reset the form so again sh form dot dot range h7 h9 h11 h13 okay inverted comma okay comma h15 so this is customer id customer name country product and call summary dot value is equal to blank now uh, let's uh, give the message box or uh, let's let's show a message box for confirmation that data is you know submitted so ms msd more ms box data submitted successfully okay that's it now we can see that how we covered uh, the reset form code like the sub procedure and the sub procedure for submit details let's go to debug and click on compile with project i think uh, there is some error sh form dot okay sorry so uh, what we did uh, we have done some mistake we should not close uh, you know each and every cell reference we just need to put comma over here 
So. Okay. So in this way, we can uh, clear the data. Now let's debug compile. Now you can see that it's working. Let's move to Excel. Go to form. Right click on submit data. Uh, like uh, this button and assign macro select the ma assign macro and submit details click on ok again the submit uh, reset and assign macro that should be a reset click on ok so now we have successfully assigned uh, the submit code on submit button and reset code on reset button so let's uh, first of all test uh, this uh, the functionality of reset button so let's enter some value over here okay and now click on uh, reset click on yes you can see that uh, it has been successfully the form has been successfully reset right now uh, let's uh, uh, test the function of submit so let's enter customer id 1 and customer name like uh, Mr. A and the country should be you know, let's India product name product one and testing for India okay now click on submit oh okay sorry so here we missed x and xls dot row okay so we we need we do not need the value we just need the row number over here and that's why it was uh, showing error that it's a type mismatch because uh, we declared the variable as integer however we were just assigning the value as a uh, no, text now it will work data submitted successfully let's uh, close this visual basic application you know, and go to india here you can see that entire data has been captured successfully let's again click on form and let's do one more testing pi by five and customer name is mr b and the country is let's select the france here yeah, and product should be you know four and this is for france issue is still in there right and let's click on submit data submitted successfully let's go to France and you can see that uh, the data has been transferred to France so in this way you can create a dynamic uh, data entry form and uh, it will really help you if you, if you if you just want to segregate the data at the time of data collection so that further you do not need to uh, know, work on segregation activity and then create the report you just need to uh, refer the relevant sheet and start preparing the data or summarizing the data okay so hope uh, you uh, enjoyed this video and this video will be very helpful for you thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye